Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Malone for Westchester Talk Radio. It's great to see you all again. I'm with a very special guest today, and that guest is here as part of a very special award that he won. And this is part of what we call the Post of the Pulse of the Business Council of Westchester. And we're produced this day, this day by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center. And who's my guest? Carmine Lapolis. He's the president and CEO of Lapolis Electric. Carmine, it's great to see you again and congratulations for winning the Family Owned Business Award. And it means being added to the Business Council of Westchester's Hall of Fame. How are you again, my friend? Wow. You know, I'm really smiling, not for all of those words, but just to see my old friend, Rob. It's uh, it's really nice to see you. No, it's good to see you, too. And I, I told Andrew, I want to, you know, whenever you're on the air with us, I want to want to keep doing it because I just, you know, we always had a certain chemistry together. And and, and I'm going to start here. Maybe we should get our own talk show, you and I. Oh, we have a lot of fun, especially with all the kids. We haven't started kidding one another yet either. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going easy on you today because you're the guy in the dock. Um, from previous interviews and having gotten to know you, um, a family-owned business to do so well, I'd like to, to take it back a little bit. How did you manage to start a family business that has grown so effective, so popular, uh, and frankly, um, has grown so so large. Yeah, I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, um, back in 1984, my brother-in-law and I, we started a company, and you know, little by little, it just started growing. And you know, we really never thought our family would get involved. I mean. I, my mother was always there. Ida, I think you met Ida. She's a yes, you, I do. You could do a you could do a whole show on her because she's an amazing woman. And unfortunately, during the awards, we didn't have her on any on any videos because because of COVID. And she's ninety eight years old, and she's very vibrant. And God you know, bless her. Yeah, she's an amazing woman. It's I, I tell you, uh, she is uh, very inspiring. So, um, but she was with us and, uh, you know, it just, it went quick, man. It just started going quick. And then my son, Paul, got involved and he became a major player here. And uh, he, you know, handles all our green energy and our energy efficient work that we do that we're really proud of. Um and then my daughter, Michelle, got involved as, you know, uh, director of marketing. Mm -hmm. um, we were kind of like in a stalemate when it came to social media. We couldn't get that right person involved. And everybody, if we had to outsource it, everybody wanted a lot of money. So uh, my uh, my daughter worked for Marriott and she started having a family. It was a perfect fit for her to come on board. And she's been great. Wait a minute. Just hold on a minute. You know, I can't let you get away with that. Are you telling me you got your daughter on the cheap? She's very good at what she does. She bailed me out today, you know. Listen. Do you want, you, do you want to take that back? We can We can always cut the tape here. Well, we couldn't Rob, afford somebody, listen, so we got my daughter. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> that, that didn't come out right. We might have to retake that one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, Rob, listen, you have children. You know, we uh, yes, and everybody who's, who has children can appreciate this. Yes, I it's do. It's never on the cheap. So, no, I do know that. Believe me. You know, but, In fact, uh, I, I consider myself my grandson, my grandson's independent money source. Yeah. You know, he's like... So I get it completely, yeah. uh, but that's good. But that's why it's a family business. Um, yeah. So, so tell us, give give people the depth of the business, and then I'd like to talk about green energy a little bit because in, in the last couple of times that we got together, uh, this was a a growing part of your business and probably is a big part of the future. But first, tell us about the the breadth and width of your company right now. Well, um, so we are licensed electrical contractors. We're based out of Westchester and we do work in the tri-state area. So uh, the company's unique because we do the simple service calls or the simple kitchen or the 
upgrade to your service in your house. And we also do very large work. Uh, we'll do a skyscraper in, in Manhattan. And, um, and then we do all types of sophisticated testing mm -hmm. and power quality um, uh, audits. Um, and then we have our green energy department. And, uh, you know, so we do the complete gambit of electric. Uh, uh, people say to me, why do you, why, you know, you do big work, Carmine, why, should, why would, wouldn't you give up the small customers? Well, I'm really connected to those small customers. Well, of course I, you are. Yeah. I have customers since 1984. Their children are grown, yeah. same age as my children, and it's a good feeling. So when you say family business, I feel they're part of my family. Mm -hmm. you know, I, they're, they're the reason I'm here. And um, so recently, two years ago, we opened up an office in Pauling, New York. Yes, I know. And the office is doing great. Uh, we're having a, a great time up there. Matter of fact, I'm here now. And um, um, that that company, that, that uh, division up there is doing very well. You know, I'm sure you know this, but but it's my job to underscore it. Having kept all those people happy, those smaller clients in 84, a lot of them grew up, opened their own businesses. Word of mouth matters. Reputation matters. Wouldn't you say that that was a big part of building your business? Yeah, I, I kind of mentioned that during the ceremony, yeah. the, during the virtual ceremony that it was a natural um, progression. Our um, young customers were growing and they were becoming CFOs, CEOs, COOs to these different companies and yeah. project managers. They started owning companies. So they started calling us and we were growing with them. And when they said to me, Carmine, I have a store to do or an office to do in the middle of Manhattan, I felt I, I wasn't ready to give up that customer to somebody yeah. else. Uh huh. And I think that's really how we looked at things. And, uh, and that was a, that's a big reason why we grew so, 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 so big at uh, for that reason. One of the things I wanted to underscore too is, you know, I've been to your place. In fact, I can't wait to, we can come back and do these things in person again, but you have trucks that go out. You have uh, vans that are ready when people call. And as I recall, you're pretty much available anytime folks call. Tell us a little bit about that. You, you mean myself? No, your, your your ability to go out and take care of a problem. How many trucks do you have? Oh, what are the calls? Well, we, have the a, we, have a significant, we have a significant amount of trucks that go out daily to, to for service calls and just to service the homeowner. And we're able to, you know, somebody calls up in an emergency or needs a service call right away or an estimate right away, we, we could do that right away. And, you know, that's one of the reasons, that's part of our formula that we want to turn around those calls right away. And that, that's something we, uh, Charlie and myself, my partner, Charlie and myself, that was one of our formulas. We, we were going to call back right away when we first start, started business, we're going to if we got a call, we're going to call them right back and we're going to give them an estimate right away. And we're pretty, you, you know, we've, we've kept that continuity along the, I know all, you all these years. That's why I wanted, wanted you to talk about it. You know, the average yeah. person like myself, we have a problem and we call, we want to hear back. We don't, we yeah. don't want to have to go through uh, the yellow pages or if you will, on the phone and look mm -hmm. for, for people. You know what I'd like you to talk You're a little bit about? You're dating yourself. You're dating yourself with yellow uh, pages. Fine. You know? Oh, so you're getting even, right? <laughs> you know, your mother's involved with the business. I don't want to ask her what she gets or doesn't get paid, by the way. <laughs> but we'll, we'll come back to that. But something that, that impressed me, and you mentioned it earlier, and, and I remind people, you're listening and watching Westchester Talk Radio. We are here as part of the Pulse of the Business Council of Westchester. We're talking with Carmine Lipolis. He's the president and CEO of Lipolis Electric, and um, he won a cool award. He's being added to the Business Council of Westchester, uh, their Hall of Fame, as the family-owned business. You mentioned green energy or green uh, solutions. Tell us about how that part of the business is growing and what it means. Yeah. So um, uh, we had these conversations many times, but um, about eight years ago, I wanted to 
there was a lot of programs out there for uh, replacements of LED lighting, a lot of incentive programs, and I needed somebody to run it. And I thought my son Paul was the right age, yep. the right type of person. It's a young person's uh, um, uh, thing to do. And Hollywood, yeah. Yeah, and I made him an offer, and he he took it, and he really ran with it. I mean, uh, I am so proud of him. He just ran with the ball and developed this department. And, and what we have done for the environment – I'm very proud of. It's one of the, the, the biggest things I'm proud of. And now we're just, not only we're doing lighting retrofit, we do a lot of EV charges for electric vehicles. We're now we're just getting involved with solar uh, uh, panels and that's the kind of yeah. adventure for us. We're very excited about it. Um, so it's something that I'm very proud of. Uh, and it's always good. You know how I feel about community. But to get back to the environment and to kind of help the planet in a very yep. small way, that's I think that's a, that's very rewarding. You know, uh, the first time I met you, you were donating your time and your money, and you don't like to brag about this, but I'm going to pull it out of you, uh, to an event to help children, to help others. How did you get so involved in the community like this? Well... I don't, I just feel that if we're going to park our shingles somewhere or our sign somewhere, I think you have to give back to the community. Uh, and whether it's in the local baseball league or the food, food pantry, or I know what you get whatever involved, that then. is, we just can't, we have to give back. And, um, you know, I'm lucky I'm in a position I could do that. Um, and obviously, if you, you know how I am with Blythdale. I got involved with Blythdale. Yeah. I was lucky. Right. You know, it, I, I was very lucky that I was brought there at that time. So, you know, and I just feel that you shouldn't get involved with everything. You get involved with a couple of things. You could really support them. Yeah. And, and then it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And you set an example for your kids and your family and, and, and your friends. I mean, it, 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 you have to do it. As you said, an example for your family. We're talking with Carla Lipolis. He is the winner. His business, Karma, or rather Lipolis Electric, is the winner of the Family Owned Business Award. Uh, and it's he's being added, his company is, to the Business Council of Westchester, Hall of Fame, much deserved if you knew the man, if you knew the people that work there. They're all, maybe they're not as, you know, grading as he is, but they're actually as, as decent as he is. Um, I got to tell you, I can't let you go without some practical stuff. Uh, people don't know you the way I do and what a decent down to earth guy you are. Uh, but I still want to give you the chance to, to, to push the company a little bit. How do people get a hold of you? What's the phone number? What's the range of work that you do? Well, our phone number is 914-738-3550. Do it again. 914-738-3550. And they just call and ask for um, any electrical work they need done. We'll do it. They could ask for me and I'll call them back. I'm not a, I know. You know, I'm not a big shot. So well, that was you my know point me. before. Yeah, I do. You I know do. me. I, I still, you know, I, I call those customers from, you know, 36 years. I, I speak to them and I enjoy it. So I, I cover a lot of ground and um, they could just call and better yet. I'd rather them call, ask for me and say they saw us here. How about that? That's true. But still, I want to be sure they have the phone number they have. Yeah. We've talked about it. They have trucks and service people who go out. They'll call you back. Carmine may even call you back. His mother could call you back. His yeah. daughter, his son. It really is a family owned business. Right. Um, and the website. And one more is thing, Rob. Uh, Please Bob, do. One more thing. You know, during this whole talk about family business, we have another person very involved, and I, I, I treat him like my son, Rob Doria. He came to me in 1987. You know, he didn't know anything. And he's a partner now, and he's like a son to me. And 
um, he, without him, you know, we couldn't do half the things we're doing now. So he's, he's a part of our family and, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that I mention him because it's well-deserved. Now, before you go, those people up in Paulus, tell us about where your office is there and how are you reaching out to this new community? Um, or Pauling, is it, I should say. Pauling, yeah. So um, what happened uh, in Pauling, I just two years ago, um, we ended up, there was a company for sale up here and we ended up buying them. And that, was, that was Elite Electric. And we rebranded it to Lapolis name. And we're right on 22, Route 22 in Pauling, New York. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, it's been, I, I always consider my company every day as a startup company. Every day too, was like the you, first man. day. I really do. And I try to instill that into my kids uh, and to my managers and my young project managers. Because all of a sudden, I don't know, because I'm getting old, but the world is young. And, you know, we have a lot of young people working for us. And, yeah, and, and, you it's, do. and it's exciting. I love it. Um, we actually, we, we did, a, I think we did a podcast together on some young people, on some millennials. I, I, yeah, we I, did. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. But um, so we, 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 we took over the company, we rebranded it, and it's doing very well. It's doing very well up here. It's, uh, I'm up here at least once or twice a week, and uh, I got a great team. I put together a great team. And they're just, uh, you know, they're, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And, I and bet. we have big plans for up here. So uh, good. And, so. You know, Carmine, one of the things uh, that I need to say to you, especially getting back together with you now, and I'm sure you would agree with this if it involves someone else. It is so nice to see and know when somebody really decent uh, does well. And uh, I want I want to say that to you. Just one of the nicest people I've met while I while I've been broadcasting, and uh, more power to you and your company. Yeah, uh, you know, thank you. It's, you know, you know how I feel about you and Andrew. Andrew's one, you know, the amazing guy. You know, Andrew, he's got a lot of energy, man. Sure he does. Great job, and he's the part of the fabric of Westchester County. He really is, man. And the other thing is the BCW. Wow. I mean, the Marsha, business council, sure. Marsha, what she does and her team and everybody in it, the whole experience as far as this award was, there was things we had to do along the way, yeah. the video shoots and all that. And they were so such professionals and they made every step along the way so easy. And they worked so well with my daughter, Michelle. So I, I really, my thanks to them. And I, I'm sure there's, hundreds of other people that could deserve this award and I'm lucky to get it. I really, I'm blessed. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you got it. And the award that he's talking about folks is the family owned business award. And it also means being added to the business council of Westchester's hall of fame. And for us at Westchester talk radio, it's part of our, the pulse of business council of Westchester series. Carmine Rapolis is the president and CEO. Um, now nah, you earned it, my friend. And uh, Marsha Gordon and the people at the Business Council of Westchester, they do a great job, particularly during COVID, yourself, uh, they uh, doing all the things on video and Zoom and so forth that you did. My very best to you, uh, the rest of the company, and I hope to see you again real soon. Sounds good. What a pleasure. Take care, man. Thanks, Bob. Bye-bye.